Hi everyone, it's Wednesday again. Here I am live for you, bringing you new episode in our Facebook um, Heal group. And let me start by welcoming all the new members that joined us over the past week. I'm so glad you found me and us here, our community, and I'm so happy to have you. So please introduce yourself. Let us know what you're struggling with, what you would like to help with, um, what you like to communicate with us. You know, we can't wait to meet you and ask your questions, ask them away. I'm always here for you to answer them. On Monday, I had asked if you guys like challenges. Uh, the January challenge has passed, the February challenge has passed, I should say. And two of you replied and said, yes, we like challenges. So there is another challenge coming for you starting this Saturday. So watch out for the post on Saturday. I'm not going to tell you what it's going to be. It's a surprise. So check on Saturday to see what the new challenge will be. And let's do that all together. And um, I can't wait to hear from you um, when we get into this for the next four weeks. All right. Um, topic today is nutrition stories that transform lives. And the month of March is Nutrition Awareness Month. And so now you might ask yourself, so why do we need a Nutrition Awareness Month? Why is that even important? So, you know, let me tell you that nutrition is super important and still very undereducated. Um, it does not really um, has a place in our education system. We take nutrition for granted, right? Nutrition is... We just need to eat three times a day or even more. Um, that's all we kind of know about it most of the time. But nutrition has changed so much over the past 100 years. Our traditional diets, our, like our ancestors ate, even my grandparents still ate. We are far from that these days. We don't eat like this anymore. Because 50 years ago or almost 70 years ago now, probably, we had this industrial revolutions, right? That brought us so much more uh, food products, processed foods, packaged foods. It got more convenient for us. It got quicker. We have more variety. It's easier to shop. You know, stores are always full and we just buy, you know, tasty stuff. You know, if there's a new product, we try it. It's tasty. Yum. We eat it again. You know, so it's a completely different experience than it was 100 years ago and we don't really think about it much and we don't really think hey what am i actually putting into my mouth all day long like what is this stuff that i'm buying in the store uh, other than i like it and it's yummy you know and that's why we need nutrition awareness month be because nutrition is so important for our body because it's our fuel you know, it's not a nice to have to eat every day. No, it's actually a must. We have to eat. So there's a reason why we need to eat. So it's the fuel we need for our body to keep going. But also what we eat determines how we feel and how well we are. And if we don't want to pay attention to it in younger years, fine. You know, if we, we're not interested in that, we don't like to cook, we don't like to, you know, spend any thoughts on it. That's fine, but we might pay for it later in life than when we get sick, when we get chronic conditions, when we get some diseases, and then we realize, oh, okay, my nutrition probably was part of it. And then changing down the road might be harder for you, right, depending on how you feel. So that's why we need Nutrition Awareness Month, because nutrition is much more than just what can we buy in the store? Let's try a new product. You know, let's eat, eat, eat. No, we want to raise awareness about the right type of nutrition for us to fuel us in a way so we can stay healthy or get healthy or feel better or whatever our health goal may be. Okay, so now I want to start off um, this nutrition month by sharing with you this one story that I like to share. It's one of my favorite uh, stories. And I'm also um, sharing this story in my upcoming free webinar. It's called Metabolic Energy Reboot Program. And I will tell you more about this shortly. I'm in the last stages of finalizing it. 
And I tell the story in there and I tell, tell you now the story because this is an example how transformational nutrition is. So let me start by saying I got a phone call out of the blue uh, one day and there was this man on the phone and he said, uh, I would like to work with you. And I said, okay, well, where did you find me? Okay, I found you on Google and I wanna work with you. And uh, my ultimate goal is I wanna date again. And I was first like, how did you get my number? Like, I'm not a relationship coach. I can't help you finding someone. Like, why do you wanna work with me? And then we got to talk and then of course he was explaining a little bit more that he felt not ready to date and put himself out there because of the way he felt. He knew he had um, digestive troubles, like very severe digestive troubles, almost every symptom you can imagine. His anxiety was through the roof and he said, I, I'm not functioning well. Like I'm really, I'm really depressed about it and I, can, I cannot put myself out there, but I feel lonely and I want to be with someone, but not the way I feel right now. So that's why I need someone to work with um, to get myself in a better state. And um, so I said, okay, I understand completely and I now know what you meant. So let's, let's do this, let's work together. And so we did. And we uncovered pretty quickly that um, he had a very severe imbalance in his gut about um, microbiota composition, like he had more bad guys than good guys who were kind of messing with his digestion and also with his anxiety. And so we started working on cleaning all of this up. You know, I started uh, giving him um, nutrition plans. We talked about uh, food ingredients and how to prepare it. We, we uh, used some supplements for short, short term um, to fix the issues he was uh, experiencing. And I think after two months, six weeks, maybe max, I got an email say, from him saying, wow, I can't believe what just happened. I feel like a new man. I feel so much has changed for me since we met. Like I have hardly any digestive issues anymore. I feel everything's getting quiet down there. It's so relieving. It's sort of, it's like freedom, liberation, right? From something that was bothering him for so long. And he said, also, my anxiety went down. I'm not as anxious anymore. I'm more braver now to put myself out there. I'm braver now to, you know, talk to my boss more frequently about issues that I had in the past. And I, I feel like I'm getting ready to be social again and, and talk to people and meet people. That was huge for him. That was a huge transformation because all of these things he would have never done before. And he also discovered that, first of all, it took him maybe four to six weeks to, f to feel profound changes, which is a very short period of time for something that you suffer with most of your life. And also he, um, so first of all, it was this very short period of time. And he said, well, actually, it wasn't that hard. I had to do a few changes, but once I knew what I had to do, and it was manageable, was not, nothing too stressful or major, I saw a huge turnaround with just a few nutritional strategies. And that is really what I wanna tell you guys today. This is powerful and it's transformational. Nutrition is not just what you can buy in the store and you eat every day and you neglect it and it doesn't matter. No, it matters completely, especially when you have symptoms, if you have anything you um, you don't like, that you don't want to live with anymore. You have to look at nutrition. You cannot neglect it. It's part of everything that's chronic. Everything that's out there, nutrition plays a role. And I know that many are afraid to look closer because they don't really want to change the way they eat. They have their foods they're attached to. And we all have that, okay? So it's not something that just concerns you. No, we all have it. We have our favorite foods. We don't wanna give them up. We don't wanna, you know, miss on certain things. But if it serves a deeper purpose for us, for our healing journey, then we should reevaluate, you know, what's more important to us down the road. You know, the type of ice cream or that we feel well and we can 
achieve some goals, right? And I mean, I'm polarizing. It's not that simple, but I just want you to get into the state where you think, well, maybe I can do this too. Maybe it can work for me. And let me tell you, I have never seen um, it not working for anyone. Really, the worst thing that can happen if you embark on a nutritional journey is it does nothing for you and nothing changes, right? That's the worst thing that can happen. I've never seen anyone say, well, I'm worse now than I was before. Um, but even that would not be too bad because then we know um, what's not working, all right? So you can only win by going on a journey to explore how you should uh, eat for yourself, what would be good for you, what's not so good for you, and how does that help you achieve your health goal, all right? So let me know what you think. If you like this video, like it, please. Uh, share it with friends. Um, let me know what you wanna hear about uh, next week and the coming weeks. I have a lot of these stories. If you like them, if you wanna hear more, um, let me know in the comments and I give you some more powerful stories where the nutrition and you know just a few tweaks to their life uh, transformed their outlook on life and how they felt. All right, have a great week, everyone, and I will see you next week.